Hello, I'm Dan Ratner, an engineer at JDAC, a division of Novanta, located in Bedford, Massachusetts. My topic is the M3E module. Complete reader, very small package, supports both LF and HF reading and writing, uh, supports dozens of protocols, and more can be added through firmware. So we, we have firmware releases that you can upload from our website and get more protocols as we add them. And then uh, the chip can have the extra security layer uh, that's uh, um, for encryption and decryption. It takes both a chip and a, a license to get that ability, but it's all built into our, our uh, little uh, reader here. All right, so what do we provide in addition to a great module? We pre-certify these worldwide for uh, operation. You might have seen on your little Wi-Fi adapter, whatever, a little FCC ID, that sort of thing. You know, most countries, they want to make sure that if you're broadcasting a signal, even a small signal like this, you don't interfere with other services. So we uh, certify the module, so that certification can apply to whatever you build this into. We offer it on a carrier board, so it's much easier to, to test and use. And you could use it in the carrier board or, or just for uh, learning about our product. Then we offer a development kit. There's more interfaces than just the data interface. There's some control and indication lines. And this gives you access to that as well. So you can sort of uh, use our hardware to sort of develop uh, your software. And then uh, um, you know, the development kit kind of acts as, as your product. We provide, talking about software, we provide a software development kit with code samples so that uh, the application on the diagnostic tester or the cabinet doesn't have to know about RFID. That's in our application programming interface that controls the module. It just passes the information you need to the application. And finally, we have a PC-based uh, demonstration tool called Universal Reader Assistant that can show you what our uh, product is capable of and uh, in tag reading and memory reading. So let me give you a little demonstration. of it. All right, let's begin our demonstration. We're going to be using this carrier board. It's got a built-in HF antenna and then this external LF antenna. So it's attempting to read uh, both uh, kinds of tags once we get it started. Now, uh, the first thing you want to do with Universal Reader System is connect to a reader. We automatically do discovery. We've only got one reader connected, but if we had more than one connected, you could choose one, hit connect, and then configure it for any options you have. Now, the major options are the protocols. We've got some major, the different RFID types, and then you can go to the different protocols here and select them. So now we've got every protocol that's possible. We've also got another option for display where we can display a little bit more information. All right, so now we're ready to read. We just hit the read, and then as we introduce tags, there's an LF tag. As we introduce it, the reader will give you the information about it. Here's that little tiny guy here. Introduce that to the HF. Now we're reading both LF and HF at the same time. If we stop reading, we can actually get further information using these other tabs. So we can go to Tag Inspector and actually then look at the tag. And you can see it's not only got the identity field, but it's got memory too on this little guy. And we can do the same thing if we want to then change that memory. We can actually go into the oops, the right tag memory and see that see the the tag and actually change it using this utility. I mentioned security. This this uh, uh, reader has both the security license and the security ID chip. So we can hit Secure Read. Once I hit Read, you can see now I've got two fields here 
both the regular ID that you saw before and a secure ID. Now this is kind of like a public-private ID. The, the uh, public one would be like your name and the private one that's protected by security would be more like your social security number. I can take say uh, the security is both available for LF cards and HF cards. So you can see here I've got uh, two cards that have a different identity, public and private. All right, that's it for my little demonstration and presentation. Be sure to visit our website for more information about this product, the M3 module, or any of our other products. Uh, if you need help developing a custom solution, my engineering group is standing by to craft a solution that will meet your needs and requirements. Thanks a lot for your time.